All right, gentlemen, it's time for a prostate massage. So I'm gonna show you how to give an epic prostate massage. So prostate massage is such a special technique to be able to offer to a male lover because the male prostate is the female G-spot or the female G-spot is the male prostate, however you wanna say it. And so the same exquisite, orgasmic, deeply emotional surrendered experiences that a woman can have from a G-spot orgasm or pleasure, it's the same sort of thing for a man's prostate. So when I've given boyfriends a prostate massage, they've always described a very specific, much softer, more connected orgasmic experience. So most guys, when they have a penis orgasm, it's usually very like explosive and intense and it like overwhelms them, but sometimes it's not that vulnerable or connected. And what most guys tell me from prostate massage and prostate orgasm is they feel like deeply touched inside by the sexual experience. So it's such an exquisite thing to offer to a man. Sometimes there's a cultural perception that going up the ass is less masculine or there's something feminizing about it uh, for a lot of guys. So it's time to oh, get rid of that fucked up story and alpha men love it up the ass and it is super masculine. So if we carry that and embody that, that like a powerful man is someone who loves all parts of his body and all parts of his pleasure. I just think we're making a better sexual world. And the last thing I think that keeps a lot of couples from exploring prostate massage is usually a lot of guys have experienced their prostate as a place of pain or like a place for medical exams or a place that's like not so super sexy. So offering a prostate massage is really about opening up how erotic and sensual this area can really be. So it can be important sometimes to have a conversation with a guy and talk him through his fears or let him know what a beautiful and special part of his body this is and how every single guy can get into anal pleasure and anal penetration and says nothing about his gender preferences and sexuality. Oftentimes because of men's conditioning, they feel like they always have to be on and performing and like pleasing their lovers. And there's so much on men about how they're supposed to show up sexually that uh, when they get to just lie back and get a prostate massage, there's something so deep about them just being able to receive and not have to do anything or perform anything or save anyone. It's, it's kind of a really lovely experience for them. All right, so let's drop into the steps. So step number one is you are going to prepare. So if you are receiving the prostate massage, you wanna take a shower. You can actually clean your anal canal either with your finger in the shower and then wash really well afterwards. You can use a baby wipe kind of deep around, or if you really want to, you can do an enema. But the big thing is you can actually feel. So you know, sometimes people are like, oh my God, what if I have like anything inside of there? You can feel it. So, you know, start connecting with your body, Get a sense and just make sure you're clean and ready to go and that you have just a sense of confidence about the experience. So especially when you're beginning, you want to start in a really easy position. So the easiest position for prostate massage is for a man to be on his back and you are sitting between his legs. So then you wanna turn him on, usually in the way that he most enjoys. So something like a hand job, you could do a blow job. Make sure he's good and turned on because no one wants a finger up their ass without being turned on first. And the prostate is erectile tissue, meaning the more he's turned on, the better it's gonna feel. If he's not turned on, it's gonna feel like a medical exam. Make sure that your finger is extremely well lubricated and you can very centrally lubricate his entire anus. So you can do this by rubbing the lubrication around his anus, around the inside, and make it part of the erotic massage that you do this really centrally and keep turning him on as you do it. And you can absolutely never use too much lube, so really go even more than you think. So after he's good and turned on, you want to start penetrating his anus with your finger. And what's so important about this is you wanna go slow, slow, slow. So the rectum is a series of sphincters. And if you freak a sphincter out by going too quickly, it just 
goes really tight and that can make it hard to do further penetration or to carry on with the prostate massage. So as you're stroking the shaft and the head of his penis with your other finger, you want to start so slow, making gentle circles and penetrating very, very slowly. Think of inserting your finger up to the first joint and then continue turning him on as you wait there. This allows his anus to keep relaxing even more deeply and helps prevent him getting sort of freaked out or too tense in the area. Once you keep turning him on, you can slowly start to penetrate with your finger again to the next joint. So at this point, you want to start feeling for his prostate. It's going to be about two to three inches inside of his anal canal. It's going to be on the side of his anus facing his belly. So not towards his spine, but towards his belly. And you're feeling for something that feels like it's like a plum or a small piece of fruit protruding into the anal canal. So his prostate is actually uh, like a spherical shape that presses into the anal canal, especially when he's turned on and it's swelled up from the pleasure. So once you locate it by pressing alongside the wall of the anus, then you're going to be ready to actually start the massage. So you wanna do the next part depending on how turned on he is. If he's already super turned on and like towards the edge of climax, then you don't wanna keep touching the shaft and head of his penis because you wanna let him relax and really enjoy the prostate massage. If he climaxes too soon, he's gonna lose some of the pleasure, some of the sensation, and the massage isn't going to feel as good. So you don't wanna push him over the edge into climax. So if he's not that turned on, you can keep stroking the shaft and the head of his penis as you massage his prostate. That's gonna feel exquisite. If he's already super turned on, then don't be massaging the shaft and head of his penis because you'll push him over the edge. If he's somewhere in the middle, you can sort of sometimes be stroking the head and shaft of his penis and giving a little bit of massage and then stopping and then stroking the head and shaft of his penis again. So kind of you wanna learn his body, his level of turn on and stroke him as appropriate. Now, once you locate the prostate, you can try a couple of different massage strokes. So at this point, as with all new techniques, I love if you actually ask him, does this feel good? Do you like this pressure? Is this working for you so that you can start to feel confident in what you're doing? So you want to be checking in with him, especially if you're not sure. Now, the first stroke to try is the same with the female G-spot. It's that come here kind of stroke with your index finger. So you're pressing and stroking with your main finger up and down the prostate. See how that feels towards him. You can also try sliding your finger in and out with gentle, slow penetration up and down across the prostate. You can try a couple of different strokes as well. You can make circular motions around the prostate and you can do a kind of X shape, doing a couple up and down strokes on the diagonal in one direction and then shifting and doing it in the other direction. Now there's a great book on prostate massage if you truly want to master this by Charlie Glickman. I'll include the link down below if you're like really hungry for all the details. But these are four basic strokes that'll get you started and really, really watch and check in with him which ones are super turning him on. Now, when you find the one that's like gold, what you're going to do is you can slow everything down so he can really get more and more turned on. Keep stopping, slowing down, let him really build up the turn on and as soon as you feel like you've gone long enough you're going to use the stroke that has been most exciting to him so you'll want to stroke his prostate and the head and shaft of his penis at the same time all the way to orgasm now once he's familiar with prostate pleasure sometimes you can just bring him to orgasm just from stroking the prostate but for a lot of guys who this is new to it's really exquisite for them to have that blended sensation from the head of the penis and the prostate at the same time Something to watch out for is when a man has a prostate orgasm, he tends to ejaculate differently. So his semen will actually kind of almost bubble out rather than shoot out. I'm just letting you know so you don't get overly concerned by this new phenomenon. So 
if you want more amazing step-by-step -step techniques to have an outrageously awesome sex life with your lover or partner, you can go ahead and click the link somewhere around here and get my free ebook download, Epic Sex for Couples. You can also head over to laylamartin.com, sign up with your email address. That means I will send you my weekly videos that give you trainings, techniques, and tools just like this every single week to keep having epic sex and legendary love. All right, gentlemen, it's time for a prostate massage. <laughs> Who are the, these better not be medical gloves. <laughs>